guys, welcome to Cooking with Caroline. Today we're going to make a special treat, homemade marshmallows. It's a tradition we do every year on the first snowfall. For this recipe, the first ingredient we'll need is a parent. They'll help you keep it fun and safe. Next, you'll need two cups of sugar, See, two cups of sugar, pretty neat, huh? Want to see it again? <laughs> One tablespoon of light corn syrup, four packages of gelatin, three quarters of a teaspoon of peppermint extract, and two large egg whites. The tool that you will need for this is a can candy thermometer, a heavy bottom sauce pot, a mixer, with a wire wix, rubber spatula, and a couple of measuring spoons. In this pan, I have two cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of water, and one tablespoon of corn syrup. We're going to heat this mixture to 250 degrees. And then we'll start mixing our eggs. When the mixture heats up to 260 degrees, you're going to want to turn off the flame. This part of the recipe you have to do with your parents. Because it's hot, sticky sugar and you could get burned. In a separate bowl, put three quarters of a cup of water. Sprinkle the gelatin over the top. After five minutes, place the gelatin over a pot of simmering water. The gelatin will eventually melt and become liquid. When it does, take it off of the flame. And now you can add the peppermint extract. That's my little brother Jack. He's getting in the way of filming me. When the sugar comes off of the flame, you're going to want to add the gelatin mixture to the sugar. By now your eggs should be fluffy and have stiff peaks. Your parents are going to pour the mixture into the um eggs while it's running. Be careful so the sugar doesn't splash out and burn you. Mix it on high speed till the bowl is warm to touch. <laughs> Look, there's my brother Jack again. You'll need to spray the pan and then dust it with sugar. This will keep the marshmallows from sticking. Turn off the mixture, and now you will add it to the pan that you prepare with, with the sugar. Congratulations, you just made a marshmallow. I mean, a peppermint marshmallow. And now you have to wait around so it cools off, what will seem like it takes forever. Don't forget to light the beater. <laughs> Making marshmallows is a lot of waiting. my next episode where we will be making homemade hot chocolate that will go with my marshmallows. Yeah. Bye, Merry Christmas.